Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at the ultimate tool for a Windows PC. Now, this tool is created for Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's a debloat script, which also makes a bunch of uh, setting changes to Windows to uh, turn off a lot of privacy settings, which you would have to do manually. And also, it allows you to install software onto the system and set it up the way you like. Now, this tool that has been created by Chris Titus Tech has been updated, so I wanted to give you a quick update video on this one. But before we do that, any action you take following this video will be done at your own risk. I take no responsibility if you damage your operating system, have to reinstall the OS, or you lose any of your data. So if we head over to CTT, this is a Chris Titus Tech's website. You can see it's called the Ultimate Windows Utility, and you can run this by running one command, and basically this will open up the program. So you can just copy this and run this on your system. Now, again, I think Chris also mentions on his website of the risks of running this program and literally uh, disabling a bunch of stuff or removing a bunch of stuff. You can restore some of these features, but just be careful when running certain features on here because it will disable certain features that you may require. So just make sure you understand what you're doing before you run this particular script. And that pretty much goes for any other program that's going to alter the operating system like this does. So just bear that in mind. Also, just to clear up for the trolls out there that like to come on the comments section and troll, I do not recommend that you run scripts and things like that on your system if you don't know what you're doing, because nine times out of 10, it's going to disable something that you want to use at a later date. And then, of course, you can't because it has been removed or disabled. So that is the uh, disclaimers out of the way. Let's take a look at open up PowerShell here by typing PowerShell in the search box. And then we can run this as administrator. So once the PowerShell window opens up here, we'll be able to paste in our command, which you can get from Chris Titus Tech's website. I'll leave the link in the video description for you. And uh, again, there is a donation button on there. If you want to use this on a regular basis, uh, use the donation button to donate because he has paid quite a bit of money out to get it a certificate for this so it doesn't get flagged by any sort of antivirus program saying it's a false positive. Uh, and basically, that's what he's done. So take a look at the program itself. You can see there's uh, some functionality on the left-hand side here, and uh, it's got install, tweaks, uh, config, and updates. On the first one, install, you can see basically it's broken up into segments, browsers, communication games, uh, pro tools, and things like that. Basically, you put the check marks into whatever you like here, and then you can click on silent install, and this will go off and uh, download the files and install them onto the computer. And basically, that's how that works. You can upgrade uh, the installs that you've just done on that PC as well to keep them updated with the very latest uh, software. So that works pretty well as well. So this is really great if you've just installed a brand new system and you want to go off and get all of the software that you use on a regular basis. I think he's updating this list on a regular basis and use some of the most common software that people do use like, uh, for instance, uh, you know, OBS and things like that. So next up, we've got the tweak section here. You've got desktop, laptop, and minimal. So bear in mind whether you're using a desktop or whether you're using a laptop or you just want to do the minimal installation of these tweaks. So I'll go off and create a restore point here, which I recommend. And again, it's going to disable all the telemetry and a bunch of other stuff in here. So anything you check mark here, you can remove check marks and put check marks in. And this is on the desktop side here. And again, you can literally go ahead and disable a bunch of stuff here. And the laptop is going to give you different settings. Again, it's going to reduce a few things here. And uh, again, the also minimal here is going to be very minimal uh, settings. So it's going to come down to whether you like tweaking your system and whether you like using stuff like this in the first place. This is a review of software. It doesn't mean I'm saying go out and start to run all of this on your system. So this is a review of basically a software that can actually remove bloatware and telemetry and all that from Windows. If that really does bother you, then these sort of videos are right up your street. Now, that said, not everyone is into tweaking their operating system. And again, remember, once you sometimes remove stuff on some scripts out there on the internet, it can be very difficult to reverse that cycle because it will remove components and it means reinstalling Windows. Whereas this script here does have an undo all tweaks feature on here, which does give you the ability to roll back if you don't like some of the settings. If you're one of those sort of people, then maybe don't use these sort of programs in the first place. Moving on to the config section here, we've got features and legacy Windows panels here. 
Uh, here you can download all of the .NET framework here, two, three, and four. And you've also got Hyper-V virtualization, a legacy media, WMP, uh, direct play, and a bunch of other settings on here. And you can install Windows uh, subsystem for Linux on here as well. And there's a bunch of other bits on here which you can deal with, which is your updates, which allows you to reset your Windows updates, which is a nice added feature. Now, I noticed uh, Chris has taken out quite a bit of uh, bloat on his script himself here. And I think the reason for that is because I've heard him mention in some of his videos that he was getting bombarded by you broke my PC and all this sort of stuff by running these scripts. This is the problem. People can't use their own common sense where they know when to run stuff or not to run stuff. They don't understand what scripts do and they go off and just start running a bunch of uh, you know scripts they find on the internet to debloat the system, and it breaks a lot of stuff. So down the uh, legacy part of panel Windows panels here, these are just shortcuts. So the control panel, network connections, power panel, and uh, sound settings and all that, these are just shortcuts to the legacy panel. The reset Windows updates is quite useful if you're having issues with Windows updates. There is quite a few tools out there and scripts out there that will do exactly that as well. So you can choose which one you want to use. If you want to use a, a CTT's version, then by all means do so. Now, there's nothing new when it comes to Windows tweaks. They've been around ever since I can remember uh, to get more out of your system. And even manufacturers and companies get on the bandwagon and do it as well, like Norton and antivirus companies, where they will show you how to speed up your PC by running uh, you know, registry cleaners and things like that. So they've always been around. And these are more aggressive tweaks where we're removing telemetry and bloatware off the system because Windows 10 and Windows 11 is a bit bloaty. But let's have a look here. We've got uh, the update section, default opt-out of settings, also security recommended settings, which Chris recommends. And then you've got disable all updates, not recommended. Now, people always ask me about Windows updates. I always see people turning off Windows updates Security updates and feature updates are two different things. Feature updates are major operating system changes which Microsoft released to the general public. And basically that will be, for instance, a major install and update and all your settings will be reset once you do these. So a lot of people try to disable these feature updates and just stick with the security updates, which is this middle one here, security recommended settings. That's what that is there. And you can set that up in the group policy which I've shown you how to do as well. So that is it for the uh, Chris Titus Tech script here for uh, tweaking your operating system, whether you want to debloat the system or remove telemetry or whatever it is you're trying to do with Windows. If you're that sort of tweaker, then this sort of script is going to be right up your street. There's plenty of them out there to choose from. When I review them on my channel, I'm just basically showing you the options that you've got out there if you're into that sort of thing. If you're not into it and you don't want to touch your PC, and you want to just leave it default, then by all means do so. There's nothing wrong with that. I tend to just leave mine nowadays. I make a few tweaks manually myself, which is turning off all the privacy settings. Other than that, I pretty much leave it as is. I sometimes disable the Windows up, uh, feature updates as well uh, and manually do those myself. But that's pretty much it for me. I just can't really uh, spend the time doing all this stuff all the time because it just messes up your system. And I've seen it firsthand with people constantly asking for help to fix problems when they've run scripts and other things on their system. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.